So your name is not Gabriel. Is it Angel Gabriel, the one that died for us? Oh my God! <sighs> Hello guys. Um, I welcome you all to Curiosity Maniacs. Today, we have a so-called celebrity here. Introduce yourself now. Okay, um, hello, hi. I am James Brown, the Princess of Africa. First uh, question. Duchess of London. Go on. That was rude, but go on. <sighs> I heard that your real name is not James Brown. I wish that was true. It... So your real name is James Brown? I said I wish that was true doesn't mean that's not my real name. Apparently, if I have a power or a magic, I would have tried to come back as Katrina as a girl. But apparently I'm stuck with James Brown and I love him. So that's your real name? Yeah, apparently. You name on your passport? Yeah, apparently. So your name is not Gabriel? What's... Oh, Gabriel! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Is it Angel Gabriel, the one that died for us? Oh my God! How is that guy? Wow, you know what? No worry, Ejo Gabriel is my daddy. Yes. Number two. Which one of these is your favorite nickname? Princess of Africa, Duchess of London, Horseface. Uh, Which one of them is your favorite nickname? Be you. You call me Horseface. No, 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 no. <laughs> I read it somewhere that it's part of your nickname and I want to ask if, if it's part of your favorite. Funny, you know it's it pay me. It pay me see they come with that also. Because I mean, if it is easy to create human beings, how many children, how many people have people have people give it to or created? Calling me us is uh, sorry. You know what? My favorite nickname is Princess of Africa. That us face is not for me. It's for their father over there. And on Twitter people, yeah. Let me not come for that. I don't even have time for that kind of thing. Sometimes you're a girl. Sometimes you're a boy that wears G strings. Is everything fine? <laughs> I, you know what? I love gender. I think God gave me money. The money God gave me to me is gender. God gave me the fact that I'm so beautiful as a girl and I can be so handsome as a boy. <laughs> Do you think wearing G strings make you a boy? I've never said I was I was a boy. Abby? I've seen lots of your content online. And I'm curious to ask. Are you a cross dresser? A Bobuski wannabe? <laughs> or Onga made you get into all this? I don't know why I'm laughing. The, the thing is, the thing is, wow, oh my God. I didn't want to like, you know, I didn't want to do too much. I didn't want to like stay on my own. But but you know my but you know how to wake me up. So thank you. <sighs> I'm a cross dresser, right? I am not a cross dresser. Because cross dresser are people that are literally stuck on that fan. Most people that claim they are cross dressers that are literally they don't go back to being a man from the experience of things. I'd be a lie. But Brisky started as a cross dresser and um, J Boogie started as a cross dresser. Most of them now are trans. So that thing is not what I would like for myself. So my thing is drag queen. And Ongri did not make me do that. My dad is a doctor. My, I was a nurse. Actually, I was training. But I was just, you know, upcoming training. And I was making like 40k, 50k per month. Actually, it wasn't enough, but I was okay. I was okay, meaning the fame came to look for me. 
I went to a party. The police arrested me. My life changed. How did I? My life changed. One thing is, I know how to use any opportunity that comes my way. You know? And again, I'm a smart person, so I'm a drag queen. Please add it to the terms. Okay. Mm. Because you won't hear what in my mouth, you know? Not Before you carry face like pop off your lati, you blow like blow bloom. You want, for time you say you want to insult me for this place, now if you tell me. I because with my friend, I make me just overlook you like this, so we'll continue. Some influencers got popular because of their funny skits. Some got popular because of their dance skills. How do you feel being among those that got popular because of bad English? I feel great. Do you know why? I don't have to think so much hard. Hard. <laughs> Spend so much money just to trade. My bad English alone is, is a comic relief. I love it. I love it because I've always wanted to be this superstar, beautiful, glorious. But I want you that my mistake. Or what people call as a mistake will come into a blessing. And even the Bible say, that shall not Call me condemn. Blonde. Okay. Condemn whatever situation he or she faces. Because everything at the end is a blessing. Can't you see I'm successful? It's not me and you that is that so. Ah! Do you plan on opening a twerking school? Because I think you can actually twerk down so many girls. Hey! <laughs> Including my girlfriend. I yeah. think I will. Which is more popular? Oh, Moto Shata Shata or Tani Bray? Who is your bro? I have a question for you. Yes, you watching me. You like to make 10,000 naira. Good. Then join Betfuse Telegram channel. Go to his Instagram, Betfuse. Then click the link on his bio. It's that easy. He's crediting 10,000 naira to every subscriber on his channel. Oh, Moto Shata Shata or Tani Bray. Who is your bro? I don't, it's not competition, it's a two different personality. Bob Risky is a personality. I'd not, I'd not mention Bob Risky, I'm saying in this, the, uh, I'm talking about the... an interview. Let me expunge myself then. I can use the curiosity make you ask. Now let me not expunge Now, the thing is, even though the English might not look like an competition, but we all know that Bob Risky is more popular. And it's a beautiful terms. Correcting every every mother to not press their lane. Did you hear the question I asked? Yes, I heard it. You said what? Which one is more popular? In Omoto Tani Brue at the Omoto Shata Shata. Yes, Tani Brue is more popular. And I like it and I follow the terms because she they put people in their place. Some way they are mouth, they pass their boundary. We also carry a bapu for their face, bad and normal normal. As normal street level. I want to say I'm not normal street level, I'm a classy bitch. Do you, do, do you get offended too when people call you bro? No, 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 I don't. You know why? Because I'm seeing the gender, it's still in my body, so it's, it's still there even when I'm not using it. You're not just sure yet. I don't, it's, I put it in a cage, I put it in a cage. Not in a cage, I put it in a, in a castle. You know, Princess Africa has so much money, so I put it in a castle. That's what I did. Which one do you have more? Male or female clothes? <laughs> Female clothes. <laughs> Actually, funny enough, yeah. If I see your male clothes, all I see in your male clothes is content. I swear to God. The thing is, I love being a man because to me it's just an aesthetic. It's clean. I can be I can be cute. I can be, you know, I can be beautiful. I can be handsome. You get what I'm saying? But for like women clothes, I have back I have close to like 200 ears, I have like 300 hairs, I have like four to 5,000 clothes. I don't repeat my clothes unless I want to. The ones I like so much are the ones I literally like. I have like three wardrobes, you get what I'm saying? So like, one is in my house, one is in my daddy's house, and one is in my like, the one I just, you know, like to imagine, put those ones I like, you know, yeah. I think I should even start sending my clothes, because it's just, and I don't, I don't wear them again, it's too expensive. Female goods. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, what's your, what's your girlfriend's size? 
I might even get her or something. What's her size? Because sometimes with fashion, girls, I'm a girl too. Yeah. The thing is... Who kisses better? Boys or girls? Hmm. I think boys will do their own. Girls kisses kids are very girls are very naive sometimes. Why boys of us especially because like when they watch a movie or something they want to eliminate it on you know. So you've confirmed this, you know guys can kiss better. <laughs> you are so smart. I know that. Ah Terry, yes, I've confirmed it in Terry. In particular, in school. <laughs> yes, in school. In in Terry, in particular, in London. <laughs> if you want. In my, in my explanation, yes, I've confirmed this in theory. Did you go into surgery for this? Do you think I should go for surgery for this? I'm asking you about this. What's through surgery? Do you think I should do it? Oh, it's not it's your choice. Do you think you make me happy? You think? You think I shouldn't do it, have you? Have you ever asked a lady out? Ha! Do you? Well, one question is... Have I ever asked... Yes, I did. What about a man? No. A male, of course. Eh? A male. <laughs> what about a man who asked me out? Yes. Mm-hmm. That one wants to hear. Ah, you know what? Yes, they ask me out all the time. But for me, I'm a hot girl. I'm a hot babe. I do all shit. I do... <laughs> Oh, sorry. You know, I'm very, I love dancing. I'm very expressive. Sorry. Sometimes I'll be very well excited around my friends. I, 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 I'm, I'm both beautiful. I don't even mean to know why I can't find for both gender. I'm so cute. I don't know why. I ask God. God says, I don't know. I don't know. So anyone you put me, I will go. I know I will get pregnant. Mm. Don't underestimate what is under here. Oh. Mm. Mm. Under where? I wonder where we sit down now. The thing we use and sit down, and the one we use and sitting down. When you pee, do you sit or you stand? I sit. In that one, I can sit anywhere in the world. I sit down because I do not want any stain or any like latches, glitches over the That vibration, I want it to be like direct into the place. So most of the time I have back, I turn the back and I, you know, yeah. I'm asking if you can spell. Oh, can I spell that? I just spell it. Is that what they taught you in the school you went to in UK? Yes, they, they teach body expression and theory. Nigeria like, doesn't teach well in school, so that's how I went to London. How will you know, boy? Because you didn't finish there, you could not afford it. You did not finish in the school. Is it in London or in Nigeria? In London. I say they don't teach well in Nigeria. You say, how could I, how would I know? <laughs> they don't teach well in Nigeria. You and I can. They teach well in Nigeria. Do they teach well in UK? They teach very well in UK. That's why I'm very smart and brilliant. Can't say I'm very, very. They did not finish. The money was very expensive. So how do you know they teach well in UK? Because I study in UK. Half. It was not complete. It was not up to half. You use one month. No, I use one year. It's two year course, and my school fees is forty million naira by the time I converted. So I didn't plan for it. It happened. So apparently. Going to London was something that I've always dreamt of. I know you might doing that rolling of your eyes, but it might be it is something I wanted. I wanted to achieve my goal. I didn't know that it was that expensive. You get what I'm saying? But I'm happy I went to London. Actually, there's no post and last one post like Nigeria. Which advice do you have for upcoming influencers? that are confused of the agenda. <laughs> what kind of question is this? <laughs> wow. Which advice? I want you to be yourself, my love. This question has just made me understand something. I have one advice for you. The advice I have for you is be your authentic self. The world will adjust. I'm not the first of my kind and I will never be the last. So trust me, my love. This is just the beginning of the humanity, of course. Things are changing every day. Things are moving. So why will you hide under a closet because of the judgments that they put on you? Are they feeding you? Are they clothing you? Are they the one for you when you're depressed or down? No. So just be yourself. As far as what you're doing does not hurt anybody. Damn it. 
I read somewhere that um, I want to know if it's true. If you need to trend, all you have to do is just call out Bob Brisky. That, that's when you call out Bob Brisky because you want to trend. Is it true? I would have said yes, but I would say no because I was on the church one day. Camera came to face and trained. That was God trained. Was it there? I'm asking you. I just want to know if you call out Bob Brisky because you want to trend or you actually like Bob Brisky. Do you like Bob Brisky? I like Bob Brisky as a human being, yes. Do you miss you guys' relationship? We're never friends. We're just a Kodia companionship, yes. We're never friends. Obviously, you never consider me as a friend or as a foe. You never consider me as a tooth you can use. Obviously, there was a time he was even advising me not to even do like a girl that whatever I do will affect me in prison. Yes, before we fought. There was a time he was telling me I should. He was advising me as a big sister, no, no way, hell, don't wear a wig, go, don't wear a storm. Like, but you do the same thing. I couldn't say that. But like, I just keep saying that in my mind. Until he now called me and we fought. The fighting was him. Sorry, ha. Calling me. Have I ever called you that you are crazy and mad before? No. Bobby Ski can just call you one day and change it for you. What's not you do video Bobby Ski is just one. <laughs> Tomorrow can still change it for you. She maybe she have changed, huh? But the woman I used to know. <laughs> so I miss our Do you miss your big sis? Is it my aunt that dream me of my brisky? Bobisky. I've never missed Bobisky in my life. I don't know why. The only time I met Bobisky that we talked a lot was when she gave me other key and posted it on social media. It looks like cloud chasing. So I don't miss her. It was fake all along. So she, her husband would say, she lifted you. Yes, she has lifted me, cloud chase, controversy. I'm lifted. All that will come out after me too. You need to allow that. That's what, see, the thing about me is that I do not have a beef with any other drag queen or cross dresser. But we can easily cut off anybody. I'm shocked if it's even, you know. We have a surprise for you. Surprise guest. You can come in, Bob. She should come in now. Oh, she's shy. I had a very confusing section with you. I understand. I can't wait to watch this and try to play something else. Um, it's so good to have you here, and I appreciate you for coming. Say my transport, I beg. That's an error. You are not done. You walked out on me. You say I should move now. Yes, one got angry and walked out on us. Hey, damn you! Ah, machine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I not do pop for you? This is the Baby Baby, the Baby Baby show, and I have here with me skill, <laughs> skill, skill, skills. Sorry, <laughs> skills. Um, you can introduce yourself to the camera. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is S to the K L E S skills. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. I watched your interview. I mean, one of your interviews where you said um, you and Wiz are cool. Mm hmm. Yeah, man. Me and Wiz are cool. Prove it. I prove it. <laughs> I can send you a, I can show you a DM between me and Wiz so you see that we're cool. Can you tell him about me? <laughs> Alright, now let me, I'll send you a message now. I love all your songs. Appreciate that. All the ones you wrote for Whiskey, though. <laughs> I keep saying this, you know. <clears throat> so back in EME, we were a team. We used to, like, you know, write for each other and, you know, look out for each other lyrically. So whatever songs that I do did for Whiskey, he also did for me something, too. So, yeah. Like Mkulu. Yeah. <laughs> And I did the Whiz Party one too. Whiz Party? Mm, I that think was I you? met you before. Yeah, that's, that's me. Like I said, it's a collective, it's a joint, like it's a teamwork, you know, back in EME. 
Is there anyone in the industry that has lucky sampled you or stolen your song? I mean, there's a lot. It's just that, you know, we've settled, so I can't really mention you hear me, but there's a lot. I remember one time, I will say this story because he also, he said it to me. Uh, there's one time Timaya told me that there was a song of his that I inspired, that he just listened to my song, Vukulu, and he inspired, Malo no get it there, Malo no get it there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, yeah, he told me by himself, actually. So. What age did you lose your virginity? <laughs> I lost my virginity. When did I lose my virginity? Hold up, let me remember. I know I was a teenager. I don't want to call the girl's name because I just saw her like a couple of weeks ago. You know, she, she was older than me. <laughs> she disvirgined me, you know. Yeah, I, I think it's between 12 and 14. Sorry, 12 and 13. My mom dropped me at their house because my mom, I'm like, my mom is a single parent. So she dropped me at her house. They took the lights. And this girl was touching me, and you know, I was just, I, I'm an adolescent, you know, every, that's when everything is sparking up. <laughs> the next thing I saw something was entering something, you know, I had fun. <laughs> 14. Oh, between 12 and, between 12 and 14. I have a gift for you. Hmm. <laughs> what kind of gift? Is it money? <laughs> is it teddy bear? Wow. Wow, this is amazing, man. Great, great. This is dope. You like it? Yeah, I do like it, man. I'm going to give it to my daughter. It's not, it, let me make sure it gets to Wiz. It's for Wiz. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wiz. I'm bringing a big teddy bear. <laughs> so tell me, do you have any new music project coming up? Yeah, man. Um, yeah. I just put out a new EP. Um, it's called Proof of Life. And it's basically just a celebration of life. And I've been in the game for over a decade. Next year, I'll be celebrating 10 years of Shake Body and probably have my first major concert, you know. And um, it's just been a long journey of a lot of ups and downs, and that's what this EP is about, and that's what all the songs are about, yeah. It's out on every streaming platform, actually. As I wake up, I won't let no negativity enter my head. Nothing fit to come like between me and my daily bread. Yes, sir. <laughs> Did Wiz write it? <laughs> no, I wrote everything myself. Five of your favorite artists. Hmm. Five of my favorite artists. All round. All round. International. Number one, Don Jazzy. I don't know if we see him as an artist, but I think he's a, he's a great artist. Number one, Don Jazzy. Number two, Kanye West. Number three, Chris Brown. Number four, Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Yeah. Number five. Hmm, number five, number five. Uh, I gotta be careful. I'll say Jay Z. <laughs> Jay-Z and Beyonce because they are one. So let me put them together, you know. Are you among those artists that sampled Blackface or stole from Blackface? Um, well, I don't even know at this point. <laughs> we have to clarify from Blackface, man. Yo, Blackface, you can hear me. Please listen to all the songs, who, you know. But I mean, Blackface is a legend too, you know. Um, I won't lie that I didn't listen to Blackface while coming up. Yeah, I did listen to Blackface, so big shout out to him. because. Is there any song in the industry written or um, recorded by some other artist, mm -hmm. and you're like, damn, I wish I sang that song. I know sometimes it be like, say, nobody send you that one I lie, I can tell you, my friend. I really like that song, yeah. I wish, those are the kind of songs that I wish, because those songs are like evergreen, you know? The video of Wiz. <laughs> the video of Wiz. Oh uh, man, that question, I, I don't think I can answer it, but I just feel like everybody has their different kind of journey. So I'm not one of those people that will pick who, but so I'll just say they've all inspired us in different kind of ways. So I, I'm not picking anybody. Next question. Yeah. Mm. Are you all David? <laughs> still the same question, bro. <laughs> I, I mean, both of them still. Daddy Zion or Daddy Imadi? I'm all of them. Three artists that inspired you. Three artists. Anyway. Don Jazzy. <laughs> and Don Jazzy is for. Do you have any song with him? No, man. That's one of my dreams, man. I want to have a song with Don Jazzy. I just really love Don Jazzy. You get me? And um, Don Jazzy for everything that he stands for, which is musically, longevity, businessman, you know, kindness, the kind of person he is, that's why I love Nanjali. He's my one of my inspirations. And two, Kanye West. Kanye West has always been my hero from since when I was a kid till now. 
And um, I would say Labyrinth, and Labyrinth because I think he's a genius, you know. Rap or singing? Man, singing, man. You know, singing has made me more money. Singing, singing changed my life, <laughs> you get me? I love rap, you know. It's not like I don't like rap. But, um, yeah, you see that singing thing? It makes me feel so good, honestly. It touches my soul. That's why I love to sing. Mm. This is the last question. Mm. Will you tell Wiz about me? Hey, Wiz knows you already. What are you talking about? You're a star. You're a big man. <laughs> Proof of life is out now. Yes, it is. Go stream. Listen to sk skill. skills. <laughs> skills. You know, subscribe to my YouTube channel also. You know, no listen advert, to my no music. Advert, no advert. <laughs>